Yo, 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 what's happening? It's Friday. Chilling with Squirrel. Hey, man, this man popped up saucy as shit, man. Hey, I, hey man, I feel bad because I be normal as hell. This nigga saucy. He saucy as a motherfucker right now. But check this out. But check this out, man. Y'all know I got to do my little promo, man. Uh, Shout out to a Residual Supply, man. He did a new drop. New drop Friday. He just dropped some new clothes. Man, y'all go buy him out. Buy everything he got, man, so we can get a new drop next Friday. You feel me? But hey, we finna jump into this interview, man, with uh good fella, A1. Uh, hey man, I'm telling y'all, y'all can't see the full <laughs> y'all can't see the full picture of this man, but he's saucy as shit right now, <laughs> man, man. Pop your shit real fast, man. Uh, what's going on, man? Listen, it's uh it's a pleasure to be here, man. I'm kicking it with Square up, man. You know, good fella, good fella music. Everybody love it checking in, man. It just, you know. Yeah. I'm 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 uh blessed to be here. All right, hey, I love, I, I, when they say they blessed to be here, man, it, it get me chill, man, because I ain't, hey, it feel good to come and chill with me. Yes, but check Lord. this out, man, we finna get into it, man, but like, you from out south, man, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, I'm always like, man, the guy from out south, they tough, they hard, they they on some strong shit, but man, every time I seen you, bro, it's like you always had a smile on your face, you always turned, it wasn't no bad vibes or nothing with you, man, let's, let's kill it right now, man, like. The guys from out south, man, is is is, is it rough, man? Is it rough, man? South Jackson is one of the greatest places in the world to grow up. That's, I mean, I don't know how else to say that outside of you know. Yeah, we don't uh, we don't start no problems. Yeah, but we, you know, well, what my boy Fitz say, uh, uh, what he say, I don't want no problem. Yeah, but if you got no, if but if you got a problem, no problem. You know what I'm saying? So it's, <laughs> it's one yeah, of the, I like it's, that. It's I like that. Nah, we want some money, man. We want some money. We want to get home. We want to take care of the kids. You know, uh, a couple years ago, we I mean, we up in the age outside now, so we really just want some money. A while ago, you know, people had intentions, people had solutions and and and, and ways, but you know, yeah, if it ain't about a dollar, man, you know, just I try to make it home. Already. That's it. That's it. But <laughs> well, man, let's get into this music, man. This this why I really want you here, man. Okay. Okay. Man, you really, you really finna take. I'm telling you right now. You ain't been on nobody else's platform <laughs> yet. I want you to I, you he a kind of squirrel first. So when he take out everybody, he was on he was chilling with Square for everything happened, man. I was but like, with listen, bro, you really finna take off. Like, I listen to your music, like, you finna change the game. I hope so, man. Well, I really don't necessarily want to change. I just want to really just Make some room for me, man. I just want some money, young. Yeah? That's yeah. it. Want a couple of dollars. The music is fun, so uh, I'm just enjoying it, man. Like, yeah. I ain't lying. I'm just enjoying it. The blues and the Southern Soul aspect of this, it it's fun, bro. I can't yeah. make it up. Like, yeah, just keep <laughs> it. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm a country man. Like, I ain't always been outside at the trail rides or the, or the, or the kickbacks or the blues shows. Yeah. I get down with all that. You feel me? So, I like the ATVs and in the in the in the four wheelers and all the little cool shit like that, but I really just like the energy, man. I'm I'm, I'm all about energy and just vibes. And so far, Southern Soul and Blues has been a has been a uh, a great therapeutic yeah. vibe for me, man. You know, just yeah. talking shit. You know, I'm really just talking about how I live, but I'm put, I'm I'm doing it to a country a country beat. Ah, really? Yeah, cause I mean, I ain't, I didn't mean it a whole bunch of times. Oh, I had to. I told a motherfucker to pick a side. Yeah, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just giving my my little spin on what I always been having, man. So yeah, you right. just enjoying it. Making so, the best out of it. So man, you know we're gonna do our little investigation on for you sure. and stuff for like sure. that, man. For so sure. we seen that you started off with the R and B. Yeah, I, you know I, what I'm saying, man. So crazy. I actually started singing gospel. I started my uh, my pops was a preacher, man. So my whole family, like Jackson Five, ain't got shit on us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like you talking about Tito, Michael, Jermaine, <laughs> all that shit, like my. Big Daddy and then bullshit, I swear to God. We could be out to, out to, out to eat a mouthful of salad and chicken tenders. If he, start, if he get to talking about that, that motion, yeah. Hey, 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 I don't know. Every night down the line, sing that song. We looking like the motherfucker, what? <laughs> 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 no lie. So, yeah, we, man, we, I, we started singing in the church, man, all a cappella. So, so, melodies and tunes was just cool. But, yeah. You know, as we go older, you know, you start to smell your nuts and shit. I like women. You know what I'm saying? I, I liked how, I like I like what singing the women did. Yeah. It was just a cool thing. It's also therapeutic for me. You know, like, I said, I get to express myself. I get to talk my shit and dress it up to, to however I choose. Yeah. And I get, to, I get to put it in front of them however I choose to. So it's just one of them things. But I couldn't, with all that being said in that same, in that same notation, coming from the church and singing about dick and pussy all the time. 
I can't I can't get to church on Sunday morning and get to <laughs> praise yeah. is what I do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't say thank you, Lord, when I'm talking about lay it down. You know what I'm saying? I can't, <laughs> yeah. I can't yeah, you're right. In the exact word was I couldn't serve two masters what they told me. So I get up there at church. It, I know a lot. Like in my church family, we real family. Like we was all tight knit, locked in. And it took for my 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 other fathers in the in the church house, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like, Airly, you know, come here. I'm like, what's up, Pop? I'm thinking they finna just give me like the boy you going like nah boy like, man what you doing? Shit, what you mean what I'm doing? I'm at church. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, what you they put I'm like, man, what you I said, man, listen. They broke my heart because I'm just giving my all to the music. I'm just vibing and kicking it. Yeah. And they pretty much be like, man, well listen, you don't you can choose to keep doing it. But you can't sing at church somewhere. You can't stand in front of this commu- in, in front of this congregation and be like, I'm standing for God. Damn. And every time I turn around. I'm out here playing with the, with the man. You feel me? Like I'm out here playing with the women and, and, and putting all that out there in that light. So it hurt when I had first heard it, and I but I really had to just realize like it's just all in all good things you got to be right in every magnitude of it. Like yeah. you can't have no side where it ain't it ain't righteous. So yeah, I stopped pushing music, but I kept re- writing, recording, and, and and you know just therapeutically kicking it. You feel me? I would catch the studio and vibe, but I wouldn't ever drop it. I probably got like. 50 songs at the crib. Oh, yeah. Based on something that I ain't, that I love to talk about. It makes sense to me. They really, they really lit. But I ain't gonna never drop them. I send them to my people. Like, I might send it to the lady from, like, yeah, I really do music or something like that. And they'd be like, woo woo. And I'd be like, nah. But this, I mean, the blues should be super cool. Like, Ooh. I ain't talking about dick and puss. I'm talking about regular life. You like, like, yeah. You can't tell me I can't sing this at church. So, yeah, yeah, now you ready to go get back, I didn't you, mean you ready to go get back I didn't in the mean church? It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I ain't mean it. Yeah. Like, listen, I pr- pray for me. <laughs> and, 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 and let's get back to the trail ride. Like, I ain't mean it. Like, yeah. baby, ba- baby, you been gone too long. Bring your yeah. fine at home. Like, I ain't yeah. saying I'm finna fuck shit out you today. And just right right after I took communion, they came in and said, praise yeah. God. <laughs> nah, we talking about me at the trail ride. There'll be moonshine, mud flying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can, I can talk about the, the energy without doing all the extra shit. So that's yeah. why I'm at that just a little more, little more wiser, still having fun with the music, still. Yeah. Kicking it, man. You'll be surprised, bro. We, me and bro, sit at the crib and just. Excuse me. Me and bro, <laughs> we just sit at the crib going crazy. And we just pop out 10 songs. Like, we might not remember but five, but the ones I can record and start writing, as soon as I get a chance, I call her, so I call the month. Bro, you open. I'm talking about, I know they be tired of me because I'm talking about it'd be two, three, four in the morning. Like, oh, so is you, you up? Is you up? I need you. I need to come right now. I can't, I can't, I can't. You can't hold. It. Yeah. Few nights that work, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but the most, yeah. most, for the most part, you know, them folk got real business that they running. So you yeah. know, but the, the very next day I can, we just kick it, man. So it's it been, it's really been fun, bro. I can't make it up. I really. I can't so make check it up. this out. Was it hard for you to transition it from the R and B to the blues, or it was real easy? So rightly, it's the same thing. It's just a different type of beat. Yeah. So, and it's, the, it's and it's situated on by what you're talking about. Like yeah. if you think about R and B music, every R and B song you think about, it's talking about six. Yeah. I mean, the ones you really want to sing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, you want to yeah. tell the woman what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody wooing no women no more. It ain't no put on your red dress and yeah, put on your that going on like, right now. You want to do it, but I <laughs> mean, wanna, it ain't yeah. happening right now. But even that song is talking about what I want to do to you. So maybe you speed it up a little bit or maybe you slow it down a little bit. But the the, the context of a song and how you write it and how you put your all into it, that'll never change. Oh, that's still cool. I'm just talking about this Mississippi shit. Like, Man, we outside with some moonshine. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we want some side of whiskey. You know what I'm saying? We gonna catch the trail ride. Gonna be a whole bunch of women. Like, I just, I probably caught like three or four trail rides. But I've been hearing about them my whole life. Boy, you gotta get out there. Them folk gonna love. Yeah, they gonna love. They gonna love your shit. I'm trying to go get some money too, though. Oh yeah. So <laughs> it was, it was conflicting. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's conflicting. Like <laughs> I'm fucking with the, I'm fucking with the, with the, uh, with the blue. Oh, I'm just kicking it in life, talking about the music. But then I got, like, the restaurant, the bartender. Yeah. I'm trying to pop my shit on Avenue because when I play, I play hard. You hear yeah. me? I got bad money habits <laughs> in some situations. Yeah. Like, I kick it. <laughs> but when I kick it, I kick it for real. Like, I know how to sit down and put that shit up. But at the same time, when I kick it, I kick it. Yeah. So, shit. And then when you get the bartending and working in that nightlife, bro, you get so used to making so much money in a short time. And if you fuck that up today, you make that right back tomorrow. Like, so, mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to go to the trail ride and catch the barbecue and, and catch the fish fry and see the little motherfuckers in their in they little boots and all that shit. But shit, I got to clock in at 5. Yeah, clock in, yeah. And this shit go to 2 in the morning. So when y'all finish down there at the country, just pull up on me. You know what I mean? We can talk yeah. about that then. Tell me what I missed. But yeah. I mean, yeah, I was, 
this shit really just fun, bro. I ain't came. I don't know no other way to other say way it. To real life. I was hosting an event, bro. Yeah. Shout out Ben. I'm fucking with bro. And he like, bro, I got this, uh, I got this grown folks uh uh day coming. I got a young guy coming. I got this going. I, I want you to host it, bro. Like, bro, you know that's too easy, bro. You out, you been the show on love. I'm locked in, whatever you need, with the whoop. I bet. So like, I've been singing, I've been popping it. Like it's it be that'd be the funnest thing. I hear a lot of people like, bro, I, 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 be, I be hearing you play on the mic and talk shit, but I ain't know you really sang. Like, yeah. Oh, you thought I was just reading, but couldn't read? <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? like, yeah. that shit crazy. But yeah, we just we 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 at the venue, we going crazy. And this uh young guy, he going, he doing his thing. This is the first time I really just got like, well, I ain't gonna say I just really got because my brother, they a YouTube motherfucker, put on and walk around the whole house, and that shit just be everywhere. So yeah, like who did what did it? Like yeah, but it's the shit. So I'm tapping in with bro, and May going crazy on the ones and twos. Shout out to May, and uh we just we vibing. But I'm singing a little bit. I'm engaging a little bit. Like, bro, come on, what we doing, ladies? Out your, out your seat on your feet. What we doing? Yeah. And I'm going crazy. And it's some somehow in part that night, in part that night, bro, like, bro, you can really sing. What the hell you doing? I'm like, man, shit, I just be trying to get some money. I ain't treating me like, bro, this yeah. shit wide open. You out of ooh. We top, we chop it up for a little minute. I'm like, ah, here, I tell it, bro. Like, bitch, I been told you, boy, you should have been doing this shit, bro. Like, Ben's told me seven years ago, maybe maybe longer, ten years ago, when, we, when I first started bartending, when I was working at M Bar. Yeah. Bro, you would you would go crazy and sell us. I'm like, man, I ain't fucking no music like that, bro. I like that shit, but you know, I want some money. Like, yeah, I ain't really at this time. Man, don't music is only for me at the time. I don't want to put that spin on it. I don't want to let nobody in a how I'm just venting and get my rocks off. You feel me? I yeah. got my bitch pissed me off. I done wrote four songs about this bitch <laughs> <laughs> for real. Yeah, like, I'm talking about recorded. Like, bitch, you say one time I'm gonna send this shit to you. Let you know how I really feel. Like for real. So now nah, I don't want to let y'all. Yeah, with it. I don't want to let y'all. Hold it. Hey. I'm really just chilling. Like this, yeah. my this my little woo side. Bro, I said, man, how oh, is you? So I've been hearing it so long. Like, bro, fuck it. I'm like, you know what? Cool. We start talking about some numbers, and bro, like, you will go crazy. I said, but well, fuck it, bro. Next time I see, you, I'm gonna record. I'm gonna record something. I fuck around, go home. Lock in with bro, I say, what we doing, nigga? We make five of them motherfuckers out. Maybe ten. Like, real life, we go crazy. Out of ten, we re- remember yeah. three or four. Yeah. The two we remember, one of them didn't mean it. Shoop, 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 shoop. One of them would pick a side. So me, I'm excited. I we didn't went record these motherfuckers. I go, I go, I got like certain places I go every day or every other day just because the, the home is the love and just the understanding. You know what I'm saying? I, I pop out that chill spot. I go see TP down at Face. Yeah. I stop at Lee Lee down there at Tap. We just going yeah. crazy, talking to, you know, the big homes and getting the energy. Fucking with all my people who done taught me how to bartend and just kicking it with, the, you know, just a good yeah. love. And I'm like, fuck, let me get the ox. And I'm just playing this shit. They're like, boy, you got a... I go down to the, uh, to the CR lab. Fuck with AJ and them over there with Jody. Yeah. Boy, you got some shit on this shit, boy. We need... Man, I don't know nothing about that. I just, I'm just, you know, I'm going crazy. Just doing you. I just came to holler at my dog. Yeah. like, bro, I, this is what I did today. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you think? Yeah. Like, bitch, you tripping. <laughs> you should have been doing this shit. Well, we finna go crazy. So now I'm like just letting it just marinating like, ah, oh, this shit cool. So now we every day we locking in. So I was I get up, go to work, make sure the kids scrape. I'm on YouTube or I'm I didn't call around, give me some beats. Like, I'm in the bro room, like shit, what you doing? Be like, man, I ain't got nothing to do. I'm well shit. shit. Turn your Bluetooth off. I'm finna lock in. Boop. We blasting this shit. So, man, now it's just routine and it's still fun. So, it's still fun. It, yeah. ain't, it ain't nothing nobody can say to make me not want to do it, even if I don't never get nowhere. So, I'd be appreciating everybody, like, boy, you you might be the next. I'm grateful on my soul out. Yeah, definitely. But boy, I'm just having so much fun with this shit. That's what, I gonna, that's what I was going to That's what I ask you. Like, I know we're doing it for the money, y'all. We yeah, got to yeah, get the money yeah, for yeah, it. For sure, but for it's, sure. the, it's another reason why you do it because you love it. You're doing it because you love it. That's that, like, no, no bullshit, bro. Music is just like. It's one of the best things outside of football and just camaraderie and competition. And I got that I can, bro. I did that. I yeah. just did this. This, nigga, you hear that? Yeah, that's me right yeah. there. I just, I just did that. What you think? Yeah. Like I ain't gonna lie, my my family used to get mad. Like I I go in there and and stop the whole house. I don't give a fuck what y'all doing. Hey, y'all shut up. Lock up. Woo. Everybody in them over like, boy, shut the fuck up. We don't care about that. <laughs> I'm coming. I get up. Yeah. Man, fuck y'all. I ain't never tell y'all shit about no motherfucking music on my mama. Fuck you. I swear to God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. I'm talking about. That's bro, now. you got to lock in with me for real. Boy, I put my hard time in this motherfucker. <laughs> shut the fuck up and listen. You know what? Fuck y'all. I ain't never tell y'all shit up. But when I get right, it's up. He <laughs> <laughs> done turn, he done snap on that right now. My mama, my mama, my mama in the room. Like, the fuck are he running? 
<laughs> yeah. But yeah, that shit used to be just, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just, I just, I need someone, I guess you could say another first love of mine, man. It was, that shit just therapeutic and I love it, bro. I can't lie. Yeah. So yeah, if I can get some money from it, I want everything that comes with it. But yeah. if I don't, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Because like, that's another thing with all the people around me, bro. We know how to go get some money. I just ain't making the same amount of money. I will make it with the kitchen of with Sweet 100 right yeah. now, but that shit on the way. Like I ain't stopping. Like yeah. I'm, res- I'm, I'm relentless. Shout out to Coca G. I'm, I'm not playing. Like this shit cannot stop today. Oh, I got yeah. too much on me today. Got too much on you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it. I really, nah, I really. Shit, nah. So man, you done spoke on being in a uh, line, like working in a uh, nightlife, mm-hmm. working in a nightlife, bartending and shit like that. So how you get into bartending? Like, you so know that's what I mean? man, that shit the crazy. That's thing another too. thing you love doing. I too? love that too, but that shit crazy <laughs> too. So let me tell you, what, I, lo- I love it now. Yeah, when I first heard about it, I was like, bro, I'm just shit. I want some quick money. I want to fuck with the hoe. Yeah, I'm. I'm just probably. I'm playing football at Jack State, so Derek uh, is is part owner of uh, one of the owners at Emba. Shout yeah. out to D, like a real friend. Like the nigga played football with my older brother in, in Kahoma. Bro, yeah. one of the only niggas like probably that I could put on the hand hand a hand list that met my real daddy. Like brother been in my house and shook my daddy's hand. Like he's a partner of mine. You feel me? Yeah, I'm fucking with them at the time. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Big Al, for real. I'm fucking with them at the time. And I'm like, bro, y'all need to come on, let me fuck with, the, you know what I'm saying? You know I got the bitches. Like, this time, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm outside, these hoes like me. You know, I'm like, I'm likable. <laughs> yeah. Let me get over here and fuck yeah. this place up, man, for real. They're like, hell no, nah, man, we ain't fucking with you. But D was like, nah, for real, bro, be really with the hoe. Like, they going to follow him. Like, I don't know what bro be doing for real, but they, everybody I know like this nigga, bro, like, real life. Yeah. Richard, uh, Benz, uh, Chad. Derek, I guess, all them had a meeting or some shit, and they were like, man, fuck, we're going to try it out. Yeah. Real life, them folks gave me an opportunity, bro, and I just studied that motherfucker. I, the first day I got my ass whooped behind the bar. Real life, me, Richard, he wanted the only, he and that motherfucker with me. We get my ass whooped, because when M-Bar first popped, that motherfucker went stupid. Yeah, that bitch was jumping. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, don't get me wrong, they going crazy right now. They got a real cool vibe, but when I'm talking about, if you know M-Bar yeah. and, and A1, I'm talking about, you know, them motherfuckers used to be in that going Analysis, bro. For real, my boy Dunt, he I didn't forget that he I walk in that motherfucker, he like, he, who this Al be sure looking motherfucker? <laughs> so like, I'm like, oh yeah. fuck this fat ass old ass watch the bad nigga. Like, I'm like, bro, listen, one of the best niggas I know to, to this day. Like yeah. taught me how to bar to him, recipe, LB, my dog, my boy Lil Jesus was with me, uh Bobby, my boy uh Billy Ray. Like we had, man, we had all the old. OG M Bar people, if y'all watching this, man, one time for y'all cool ass. We had, when I say, nigga didn't want to go home, bro. Like, we would work from 5 to 2, and like, at 2 30, we like, shit, what's next? What's next? Man, we used to have a fucking ball, bro. Like, swear to God. But they took a chance on me. Yeah. So, I'm talking about, I download the bartender apps. I'm in there shaking, shaking up the little app, trying to p- figure drinks and shit. What people don't realize is bartending is just tending the bar, but actually learning, maintaining, and perfecting your shit, that will make you. One of them people, you feel yeah, me? So yeah, yeah. I took a liking to that. And I ain't never been no asshole nigga. So I want to see everybody around me pop their shit. Like, yeah, you deserve to be in here and you feel good about yourself. And, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you to wait 10, 20 minutes 20 on minutes nothing. No drink. Yeah, hey, yeah, if, yeah. If, if I got you waiting, I respect you enough that, hey, hold on, I'll be right with you, huh? Like, yeah. You know what I'm, I know I'm pretty sure, like, I, one time I went, to, I'm, at this time, I'm old enough, I'm grown enough, I'm moving around, now I'm in Texas. I got a little Wells Fargo car. I got a little money. I'm going out there and text. I'm fucking with some people. I go to the bar, see some bitches. I'm hey, let me send them some drinks. Get a motherfucker with my car. That bitch declined. You know, I was one of them like, I got plenty of money on that bitch, man. Stop playing. <laughs> they don't give a fuck about that. They just know, sir, I'm sorry, yeah, this bitch. transaction was declined. Yeah, yeah. I ain't call the people and tell them about my bank. I'm out of time. That's why I don't really like banks these days. Cause <laughs> I don't got to call you and tell you when I'm gonna spend my money. Yeah, the fuck am I yeah. doing? But <laughs> that type of experience is what people had to see or deal with when you ain't thinking about that. You just really want to step outside. You had a long day. It's a fucked up night. Yeah. I want to drink and I want to sit around some cool people and enjoy myself. Yeah. I want you to feel like that, bro. Like, yeah, so I made everybody feel like a VIP in front of me. Like, I don't give a fuck what the next person going to tell you. Yeah. I'm I'm happy you're here, home. Like, uh-huh. the little dollar you finna give me, I'm grateful. You That's feel what's me? Up. If I'm I got right. 400 people in front of me, I can do that, nigga. I just left for 400. And the building just made a bankroll because the two for one used to go crazy. I mean, I'm talking about, I can't lie. I've been popping my shit with the, with the fun a long time. So this entertainment shit that they think they seeing now, nah, I've been doing this drunk shit for You've been doing this shit, yeah. Standing on the bar, shirt off, yeah. belly out. <laughs> Welcome back to him, boy. Yeah. Swear to God, I can't make it up. So yeah. I just really been having fun with all this shit, bro. So it don't feel uh, weird. It don't feel like I'm stressing it. It don't feel like 
I'm trying too hard. I'm really just enjoying the shit in front of me and yeah, yeah, giving y'all yeah. who I really am in real life. You feel oh, me? Really? The day you see me upset, I'm just not myself. Please just say a prayer for me. Yeah. Because I don't want you to ask me what's wrong because it might piss me it off. It might piss you off, yeah. So just, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I can tell something wrong, bro. Send one up for you, love you. And just oh, really? that type of shit. Just, you know what I'm saying? But the far as the, the bartender shit, I'm getting off top of I'm talking so much. Nah, do you know? Started bartending fucking with M Bar. Shout out to the guy, to the fools. Uh, I ain't say, you know, I ain't say K Riggs name, K Rig, K Fool. Uh, but yeah, started with them guys and I was over there about five years, man. Like, real life, shit was fun. Yeah. The worst part about bartending is, damn near every other night, you kind of lit. And something got to go home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, say that shit again. Say that shit again. <laughs> what say. my girl say, at the end of the day, the day got the end. <laughs> I done had all this shit in me. Yo. You think I don't want to get it out? <laughs> oh, man, I got some pressure built up. I'm trying to get it in me, like... Oh, yeah, and you look way better now. Like, I, I mean, you, you were pretty as shit. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? What, what Chris Brown say? <sighs> with the liquor? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't what know. What Jamie Foxx say? Oh, uh, okay. Blame oh. <laughs> on that car. Blame on that car. Right now. That's, the, that's, that's what you're getting at 2 30 I'm getting out. Yeah. And I'm loaded. You tell you everybody. Everybody, right everybody right getting now. that tip. I ain't going to say everybody. I ain't, <laughs> ain't going to say it. Like... <laughs> A lot of people see a lot of people got them as true. I ain't just really never been no hoe. Yeah. Or just been with the whole shit. I just like, I be popping it. So yeah. you never know what my what my arrow shot at. But that motherfucker hit every time I shoot that motherfucker. Ooh. I'm talking about every time. Every time. Like that's another thing. Like I ain't had to I ain't had to ask about that. I just <laughs> I, I worked hard at it. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like all this shit ain't I mean, I can't say God giving talent because we talking about the shit, but <laughs> The gift of gab and the kick it like that. You got to, yeah. You, you got, got to, you got to be in you. Oh God, it got to be in you. Oh, God, be oh, in you. Real talk, real hey, talk. <laughs> hey, you know, blessed part about it is, man. You know, with all them people, they, they, they never had no confident. Well, they may have. They ain't, it's not a lot of us though. It's not an overly confident, extremely handsome fat man around at, yeah. all, at all times. <laughs> so, and, and now I'm here. <laughs> So, pop your shit, yeah, so, pop your shit, so, man. Thank y'all for checking in. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I forgot to tell you, I mean, I say heavyweight level, but you know, I am a part of 200 Up Club. You know what I'm saying? Just for the fat boys, the fat and fly guys. You know, yeah. we, got, we got a lot of mantras, a lot of slogans, a lot of, lot of little old things, but yeah. yeah, we just doing it for the big boys, man. We want everybody to know you can be big and still win, man. Like, you ain't got to go work out. You can be healthy. Yeah. <laughs> but don't kill yourself trying to look trying like that. Trying to look like, yeah. And they women still fucking off on them. You feel Yeah. Me? Like, you right. My little yeah, like my fat ass. You <laughs> Why you Belly playing? Belly rub and everything. Like, Already. Shit, yeah, we ain't missing no meals. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting full and I'm getting emptied. Already. <laughs> hey, huh? pop your <laughs> shit, man. Pop your shit, man. But check this out, man. Ooh, that boy came with some shit today. He came with some shit. I hope you don't get your but on everything. <laughs> man, listen. I told everything is righteous. Yeah. That's what I said no matter what you're doing, how you're doing it. As long as it's in the proper... Situation, like I said, my little yeah, to love me is to know me. You can't get mad at me for talking like this, yeah, because that's why you love me, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I have not changed how I act in front of people. They know mm -hmm. when it's a light on, it's a showtime. Like, it's when yeah. the light on, it's it's, it's shit, showtime. It, the movie yeah. started yeah, for show. This oh, my, shit my got mama. to start, <laughs> it got to like, and I'll be goddamn if I don't play my role already. Damn. Shit. Shit. Square. It's like square hey. not being square. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> come on, that wheezy not being wheezy. Wheezy on everything. Come on, man. You got, come on. That motherfucker out here now. You know what I'm It's square, man. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> but now that means. For sure. For sure, you safe out here. You safe. No bull. You got all ready. But check this out, man. Good. I don't know. I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, now nah, you good. But check this out, man. But check this out, man. You done had two of the hottest. Spots and Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sweet 100 shit. and the kitchen. I told him, ain't shit sweet about the sweet, ain't shit sweet about the sweet, ain't shit sweet about the sweet. See, he done, see, though, he done had two of them. See, oh, this what a lot of people DM me on, too. You know really? what I'm saying? A lot of people DM they me, like, about they, they, they want to know about it, man. Talk, I don't want to talk about it. They, they want to know about it, man. First, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna start out, we're gonna start out with sweet 100. You know what I'm saying? We, sweet we gotta talk about sweet because sweet. Oh, sweet, really open the door for all the brunch spot. What's we do? Man, she made this motherfucker. Street 100 got a pillar in the shit, and I'm grateful. You feel me? All right, yeah. But I can't, I can't, before before we get to sweet, I can't 
I can't take the credit for Sweet 100 without, for one, tapping in, for one, for sure, with my dog, Rick, and my girl, Mia. Yeah. They were a part of the creation that we call Sweet 100. They were equally, if not just as big or bigger than any part about that. Yeah. To, for that part. But I can't even get there without addressing the Three Kings. Because the brunt scene was not, it was a brunt scene in Jackson. And we were going to Iron Horse and listening to Tiger play the uh, saxophone. And we were going to another Broken Egg just because it had brunch, brunch food. Brunch food. It just yeah. had brunch food. Yeah. But we go out of town and around every other area or demographic around our, our place, our city, our home. Yeah. To pop our shit, put that shit on. Yeah. And go run a tab up. Well, you ain't got to do that. Or you shouldn't have to do that. Like, why you got to go get jazzy? Or this? Or you got to go do all this shit and go two, and three, four hours, hours away, away just yeah. to en enjoy life? Yeah. Like, what the fuck are we really doing? So, for one, the king, shout out to Chef, my brother, shout out to Rick again, my brother. The three kings, that shit, what we did was legendary. I don't give a fuck how nobody see it or what they say about it. It ain't to this day nothing that stopped that shit. Yeah. We ain't even had no, no kitchen, nigga. We rented a building. Put furniture in that motherfucker, and we just threw some shit together, but we did it the righteous way. Hold like, on. Y'all didn't have no kitchen? What? Hold on, bro. Y'all rent a bed what? and put furniture in that motherfucker? What? Man, I thought all that shit came with it. Man, Square, we bought couches, man. I ain't know that. Man, listen, man. Come on, bro. God, we rented a bed, and the first one we did was probably the old penguin. Ain't none of that motherfucker. They got a kitchen, but don't know that shit work. Yeah. Chef put that shit together, put a table, got some burners and start whipping that shit in front of you, man. That boy was at the goddamn at the uh embassy suites with the arm um, that's in front of you in Wes Jackson at the at the motherfucking penguin. Yeah. Shit, we got a goddamn uh, a beer cooler, fill that bitch with ice and put Bel Air. Bel Air boy, them folks sponsored this shit, man. Man, I ain't Rick know Rick Ross that shit. called us, man. Stop playing, man. Uh, we on the zoom at Sweet 100, cause we Bel Air popping this shit, man. Black bottle boy, that shit was for real, man. Oh, make shit. this shit up. Don't nobody know that shit, man. That boy was really fucking with us, man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody gets paraphernalia when you fucking with them people because the liquor is supposed to do that. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about talking to the bread bearers. Yeah. The, the CEO of this motherfucker on Zoom called Rick Ross talking about, man, y'all going fucking crazy. Y'all selling more Bel Air than, than the liquor store. Oh, well, not the liquor store because we getting it from the liquor store. Yeah. But y'all selling more than the motherfucking restaurant. Like y'all were doing, y'all numbers look like shit in other states. Like, yeah, we really popping this shit, man. But I ain't know that shit. So you don't drop the bomb man, on that. Boy, we ain't know that shit. I swear to God, we went crazy, man. <laughs> Something. Another part of it, I had, I should, I should, I should have went my ass home after them brunches. <laughs> on my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I hate. Hey, 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 I should have learned my lesson from the yeah, old boy, to Fourth Avenue. Yeah. And now we in here fucking with the brunch of man, like no bullshit. And me, Ricky, and Chef, we sit down. We might be, we might have been drunk when we thought about it, but we, we know great minds think alike. So we fucking with, uh, we fucking around, we drinking, we fucking with the brunch shit, and we we go to a few venues like, hey man, we want to throw some brunch. Yeah. Like they do this shit everywhere, bro. We need our own brunch our own way. I totally forgot. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look up and talk yeah, to you. Yeah, no, too. do your thing. Oh, yeah. So we talking, well, we just talking and congruent. Like, bro, we went to spots like, hey, let's throw some brunch, man. Let us let us rent the venue out. Man, it's too cold for brunches. Ain't nobody gonna really fuck with that shit. I mean, this shit, we just got a lot of no's. Yeah. With a room of us three, with all of us, we're like, yes, nigga, you got Ricky with the sound engineer, DJ extraordinaire. He just coming home off tour. He the nigga good. You got Chef, this motherfucker, he's he's good. The motherfucker can cook, he good. The man going crazy. You got me, I've been fucking with the liquor and just in with the vibes. Yeah. Man, this 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 little shit work. No bullshit, this shit work. That shit, yeah, it man, work. Man, Ricky started talking that shit. I'm on the mic talking that shit. i never forget the first night we was in, the, the first brunch we had, we had that side of the Penguin. Man, them niggas, every nigga that I know, Am I saying nigga too, too much too? Nah, man. Hey, man. It's, hey, it's, hey, it's chilling. Bro, you chilling with Squirrel, chillin chillin bro. You chilling with Squirrel, bro. How do you been? We throw that brunch, bro. I swear <laughs> to God. I swear to God. It's nothing but women. I'm talking about maybe 10 sections. Every section is a 15 piece of nothing but fucking women. You feel me? This the first time two of my baby mamas in the same spot. And Ooh, they ain't mad. They ain't like, mad. What? Mimosa, nothing, everything. I'm talking about they looking good. I'm like, hey, Pooh. I ain't, ain't gonna cap it down. My woman went to a couple of y'all little branches. I ain't gonna cap it I ain't gonna cap it down. I ain't gonna cap it down. I ain't gonna cap it down. She went. She went. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Did she have a good time? She had a good That's time. That's the only yeah. thing we wanna do. You <laughs> leave me? Man, listen. We in the motherfucker. I'm talking about, you know how that shit go. They don't wanna go. They don't wanna tell you how good you are until somebody else show them how good you are. But they don't how you been yeah. kicking it the whole time. 
Yeah. Man, why you ain't telling me about this shit, bro? You ain't calling around. Remind me? What the fuck I got to call you? Remind bro, you, you to go to brunch yeah. for? Thank you. Didn't you get, get up you and go get, eat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you seen the same fly. You seen the flying, I been talking about fly, this shit for a month. Mm -hmm. I been bartending in, in this motherfucker for, for going on five, seven years now. What you mean call you to come to brunch? Because you seen the video. Yeah, now oh, everybody. You see, you see, see Mugga Dude. You seen the mm -hmm. Bill F.E. a bucket. Mm -hmm. And all these hoes in his shaking ass. No disrespect to the hoes. No, no disrespect <laughs> to that at all. You see how these hoes here bouncing ass. Yeah. And they popping their shit. And you like, boy, it ain't number 10 niggas in there. It ain't number a thousand bitches. Oh, I like man. women, bro. I ain't throwing no party for you niggas, man. Yeah. You welcome to come. Get your ass out the way. <laughs> hey, yo. you bitches, man. This is this what this for. These women, they work hard to do what they do. Let's, let's let them have it. Yeah. Go crazy. Nigga, we in that motherfucker. You know, at this time, I think I'm sexy all the time. They play something. I'm fucking with Chef. Chef, Chef, real like body, but he working now. Yeah. I done, Chef didn't put off his shirt and start challenging me like nigga, hitting the muscle. Bitch, I, fuck you too, nigga. Fat, fat, fat. I'm with the fat. What she going crazy? Boy, these hoes yeah. eating up, rubbing us. He going crazy. There's mimosas everywhere. My baby mama ain't even tripping. I think I'm finna have the time of my night. Like this shit is a great day. <laughs> yeah. Just a little fun. I'm just having. Fun. Yeah, I already. But we end up fucking with that. <clears throat> So the next brunch we do, man, you know, that shit was so crazy. We made a couple down dollars. It was cool. Number, the money wasn't it. It was just a vibe. We want to do this for the city. It's cool. Yeah. We go out. Now, nigga, we go to Richland. We behind North Park Mall. Mm-hmm. I remember that one. And we go, I remember rent, that we go rent this. I remember <laughs> that one. We go oh, rent this venue. And like I said, ain't no kitchen there. It ain't nothing but a yeah. building with some bathroom. Uh-huh. Now, because that first video went crazy, now we can't do 10 section no more. We got 25 of these motherfuckers. Ooh. So we ain't got no cows and we ain't no carpenters. We at Walmart, Target, eBay, everything, buying shit. For real? What? All this shit. We buying all this shit. They had a bar in that motherfucker with the sink, and that's all we needed. But yeah. see, me at the time, I like spiking drinks. Like, with the, I'm a most for me, I got to put a little bit of liquor in it because I want to really see how you're going to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how I drink my champagne. With my OJ, I'm going to hit it with a little yeah. That's just, you yeah. know, and I'm going to let you know, though. I'm going to say, hey, this got tequila, this got vodka. Good job. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Win. Ain't yeah. no mile in the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> we, ain't fuck, we, bad air, boy, we ain't fucking with them that side. Yeah, now. You yeah. know, way too much going on out there now. <laughs> I'm just playing. Ooh, I can't say that. I'm on real TV. Can I say that? No diddy. <laughs> That's a good one. But now, we, we really just having fun. Well, so now this shit way bigger, man. And at the same time, I think this one, with Chef fucking with some of the people out there, hey, they got the girl Jasmine. Uh, the little fine motherfucker from Florida. She with the I think I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she coming. She popping in. She, yeah. she want the sex. So now shit, the city is coming crazy. Now yeah. like, real life, bro, I swear to God, nigga, it's 11, 12 o'clock. It's a car show out front. Cause all the boys done pulled up with them motherfuckers outside. Yeah. I'm talking about all the boys done pulled up that shit outside. We got the the, the bitches who who don't want to walk in the front and they come around. Bro, it's like a club, bro. Bro, I'm talking about Rolls Royce, everything. But the whole the whole time what they didn't see was three guys, guys who got yeah. together and loaded a U-Haul truck to put this shit in here. Wait, wait. And after we this did shit I, crazy. I what? didn't know y'all did this shit. After I thought the, all these venues came with this shit. Hell so no. y'all really invested in this shit. Man, we really like put our money in this shit where most of our time and our effort and we yeah. been fucking crazy. Yeah. Cause a lot of the money came after that first brunch. We might have spent a little money here. But after that first brunch, man, all this shit paid for itself. We just was wanted to keep creating the energy. Yeah. So we going crazy. But after everybody drunk and we had our time, them three same guys is in the motherfucking and now the collar shirts is off. The, the, the tennis shoes back on. <laughs> and we load truck, we load the motherfucking mm -hmm. truck, track the trailer full of motherfucking uh futons. Yeah. Uh, uh the, all the kitchen equipment, the rest of whatever liquor. We ain't have a lot of leftover liquor. We really went crazy. And just all that shit. And we steady keep going. So eventually the shit kind of like just worked itself out. So now you know what we're in. Great minds thinking like so now, me like I think now I'm still in, I'm back and forth from Atlanta, still bartending in Atlanta and here. Ricky's still on the road. Mia and Ricky got a project who going crazy. So now they like, man, we, we looking for a building. We looking for a building. I'm like, shit, well, shit. You know how they did. That's too easy. Like, when you find it, let's go crazy. Yeah. Fuck around and found it. Shit, it, I didn't think it was going to happen in fair, but they found it. So, no bullshit. I'm still working. They still working. Every time we had off the hands, the kids is out there with us. The family out there with us. And we hand by hand, day by day, time by time. is Handling business. Handling business. Painting. Me a creative ass. Bringing in motherfucking uh the sh uh, chandelier shit, the yeah, curtains, yeah, yeah, all this yeah. shit. I'm like, bro, mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about these colors, so they go crazy. <laughs> I trust you. I didn't see you decorate the shoe before, motherfucker. I ain't never said, <laughs> go for bananas. Yeah. Oh, God, go bananas. Man, swear to God, this shit just started making sense. And I got this homie feel. 
we going crazy. Now we still got the momentum coming from the three king. Now two of the king, because I think Chef back on road. Chef, Chef my, at this time might have been on the fucking, uh, I don't think he was on the TV show yet, but he was, he, he was just running around handling all type of videos. Yeah, yeah. So we going crazy. We brought Will in. Man going crazy in the kitchen. And we just really just rolling with the, rolling with the motion. So, man, we set the time. We set the date. We got the shit going on. And we, we put the brunch date. Soft opening. That bitch went crazy. Soft opening couldn't be softer. I don't know what the I fuck. Remember that. I remember the South Coast. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they yeah. did a put out there, but that motherfucker went. I'm talking about. And you know, we were the same vibes. Yeah. 11 to 3 brunch. After 3, 3 to 6 is a day party. Yeah. Because up the street, we still got faces. Yeah. We going there after after this. And down the corner, we still got fourth. We fourth. going over yeah. there. So we, it, that triangle just That going, triangle, yeah. That triangle yeah. I remember that. Crazy. I was at, I probably wasn't Can't going in, but I was walking around there. Yeah. The triangle yeah. going crazy. Mm-hmm. So we really just vibing and trying to, you know, keep the black dollar circulating. So we going crazy, man. That's that first motherfucking soft opening. Was the hardest fucking opening I've had or seen in Jackson. Yeah. With just how, you know, how we, because we looking at it just like, man, we just throwing some shit. We want family members. I'm like, fuck it. If they come, they come. Yeah. This shit crazy. I swear to God. The whole week go crazy. We got, we got R&B Tuesday. We got, uh, uh, some, I don't remember all the days. We got therapy Thursday. We got, we just got some shit going on. These folks is outside like, man, I don't feel like I'm in Jackson. Yeah. And that's all we wanted y'all to feel like. You don't have to go outside, outside. to do this shit. Yeah, totally. Hey, we got we got prime in that motherfucker. Prime tried to tip me fifty dollars like I was a little boy. At the time, I wasn't no little boy. I was like, man, no, nah, put that shit. If you got a water, man, what the fuck you doing? I should have kept that fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, I would have kept that fifty dollars. At that time, I'm popping my shit. I'm like, nah, man, you hey, how you been? I'm you don't. Welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome to welcome the city, city. Yeah, oh God, yeah, real talk. talk. Yeah, swear to God. So yeah, we man, this shit going crazy, man. And I don't even know if that was your next point, but I guess we're going yeah to uh, the sweet one hundred aspect of it. So yeah, man. And I know they don't seem like it happened like that. Nigga, we was open three months. Yeah, yeah it feel like forever. We was open three months, bro. Yeah. I never forget it, bro. We were like the uh, the day them folks start fucking with us because I don't think a lot of people know why we closed and this, just fuck it. This is what how why and how we closed. Them folks, uh, they hit us with like a a warning. Say you're not doing these fifteen things that's in your lease. So we look at it. They say. They say we're gonna be a fun, fully functional uh, uh, restaurant, which we were. We served, we opened, we served food from five to twelve during the week, five to two during the weekends. They understood the time frame and everything. They said uh, the outside music be too loud in the common area during the work week. We turned the shit off. We ain't even playing music until in the outside on the patio until the rest of your uh, your people gone. We ain't even turn their business on until six o'clock. They say uh, you said you're gonna open for breakfast. We did. We put the fucking breakfast in there on there. Motherfucker didn't come eat, though. Yeah. But we in that motherfucker from 10 to 12. Or some shit like that. So at the time, yeah, at the time, they got a movie. They shoot a movie downtown. They didn't trip on the shit that we were doing until the movie people left and we facilitate all that. We ain't even got the time because we still trying to open up and go crazy. We feeding these folks a selected menu. These folks got, I'm talking about the real actors and shit like the Bruce Willis yeah, and all the folks These folks can't eat certain shit. So we, we taking out our time and we perfecting this shit. We doing everything they want Damn. to do, and we going crazy. Like, they ain't going to never say this. But soon as even the movie people would get out the fucking movie st- or scene script and come kick it. We outside with T.O. and shit. Like, I'm talking about real life. Every person that was in that motherfucker, but they came to them like, bro, this shit, this shit hard, oh, bro. How long y'all been doing this? Jackson got shit like this? Man, we just open. Appreciate you coming, man. You know, blah, yeah. blah. real life. I'm like, man, this shit crazy. We still going. Uh, out, of, out of that 15 days, they had a, a little more, a, a, a few more points. I just can't remember at the time, but we we corrected everything. Now this still in the middle of the pandemic too, so the people ain't thought about that. Yeah. We doing all this shit when the world closed. Yeah, yeah, you I feel did. Me? Yeah, I did. So now we telling them they said something about a Monday. We supposed to be open seven days. I said, all right, so Monday we gonna open, but that's a uh, we gonna re- we gonna reset that day. We gonna restock, redo everything. We put all this shit in paper. They just don't want to hear this shit because. They fucked up and told us one of the people, and I can say I couldn't say this at the time because as soon as they put them, a lot of people don't know they changed us out of our building. The day they said you got to go, yeah, you feel me? I'm talking about, and we knew it was coming because they they came and they tried to slick us. They said, "Well, uh, y'all y'all fucked up the lease, y'all broke the lease." I'm like, nah, we ain't bring no lease. So luckily, we end up we got on the phone expeditiously. When them Ti words, I called my boy Kiki, Kiki, Keith French Law Firm. That's a family member. He instantly, hey man, these folks trying to get y'all, bro. Don't sign shit and. Walk away from them right now and call me back. Immediately sought legal, legal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
they tried to bring us a paper and say, well, since y'all broke lease, y'all can just sign this and y'all have finished this weekend and then y'all get y'all shit out next Monday. Yeah. And we're like, sign this. We ain't broke no lease. We not signing this shit. Hell no. Because we, we immediately called my people. Yeah. They upset, son. It's a Friday night, nigga. I swear to God. And we normally go crazy on Friday. We still had people coming in. Our, bro, we called a meeting. We told them, folks, we're going to close at 12 o'clock. May close at 10. Called a meeting. And right now, all our staff, they depend on this shit. They going crazy with us. They working yeah, their ass off for us. Yeah, yeah, And we tell them, like, man, listen, this is just to keep y'all abreast of this shit. Like, they fucking with us. I don't know to the extent of why, what's going on yeah. outside of they don't want our young black ass out here popping it like we popping it. They done labeled us a weed bar. They say we a nuisance to the fucking uh, tenants in there. People scared to walk to their uh, to their buildings and go to their jobs, even though it's a fucking elevator in a in a in a, in a, in a, in a car carport or whatever you call them a garage above the Sweet One Hundred. You ain't even got to get outside and come this way. You can get on that motherfucker and go straight across. Yeah, above uh, like right over there by the uh, uh, Wells Fargo. Yeah, they just making all type of complaints because the color of our skin and how we actually participate in our yeah. night. Basically Which, making money. And we just outside living life. Ain't nobody But to dying, some people no who ain't, ain't really moving with the world, these niggas out here, and it's, it's scary. It's a scary sight. These black folks out here ain't no problem. They laughing. <laughs> <laughs> they, they making money. Yeah. They laughing. These <laughs> niggas, like, they ain't even scared nobody. <laughs> yeah. They just laughing. But now, mind you, now, it's, it's a lot more action. Because now you got the people up and down the street in the triangle. You hear yeah. all the whole the bikes and all that shit. But... Sarah, man, we ain't rent the street. We rented this building of 5,200 square feet. <laughs> you can't feet. stop nobody from coming down there with the you library. Feel me? Yeah. Re- we rented this 5,200 square foot building. If the police don't stop that, how the fuck you think we going to stop that? Yeah. Which ain't my problem or my concern. Check what we, you know what I'm saying? Here you go. Go back to what you checked it with us. This is what yeah. we signed for. Now we, too, now we smart, happy niggas. So this is another problem. So long story short, we, we fuck around. As soon as they send us that last paperwork, they try to kick us out. We immediately go upstairs, and I'm like, bro, I don't know how, how y'all feel about it, but I can't take this. We got to go talk to these folks. This shit got to happen. Walk in the office, they like, oh, what y'all doing? We need to talk to the people in charge. Y'all got a meeting? No. We want to talk to the people in charge. in charge. Let's, let's have a conversation, because this shit ain't logic. This ain't logic. Y'all horn us. What do you yeah. mean, sir? You know what the fuck we mean, ma'am. I'm trying not to be disrespectful in your office or your place of business, <laughs> but this shit don't make sense to us. Can we talk to somebody? All the big guys in there, like gray hair, belly, they even there. Well, what's going on? Hey, how you doing, Mia? How you doing, Harry? How you doing, uh, 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 Joshua? I'm not well. I'm letting them talk. I ain't even got shit to say. Because I know this shit going to go white weird. I instantly, motherfucker, you know me. I'm from, this the South. It's like I got, I got notions when the South Jackson shit come out of me. Because I'm smarter than a lot of these niggas. They, they think because I'm, I'm from my South and I'm a, oh, nigga, we don't think like this. I immediately. Yeah. I like on my phone, put them up and down. I'm recording the whole conversation. Oh, shit. 45 minutes of this conversation with a nigga telling me that it ain't your fault, but you got some white people over here, or not even white people, you got some of our tenants who spend $250,000 a month on this on this leasing space while yeah. you spend uh, 2700 or whatever y'all spend in a month that we pay extra months ahead of time. Yeah. They saying they don't want y'all here. I said, so you telling me big business is telling these young African-American people who worked hard for this, put their money together, they got to get out their spot because of what the people outside of their business is doing? And the motherfucker fuck up and say, yeah. He said, yeah. What? I got the 45 minute conversation on this motherfucker, man. Ain't no motherfucker. I'm such a guy. But I can't talk about this shit because I'm enraged for one and I'm sporadic. So I might do anything at this moment because everybody around me saying, bro, let's ride. Fuck these folk. They can't do this shit, bro. They put chains on y'all, dog, nigga. This ain't slavery. They I'll put chains on dog. They chained our shit up, bro, with boat locks, bro. We couldn't even get in there and get our fucking inventory out. Ain't no way, Swear bro. Swear to God, after you illegally served us a warrant. Or, 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 the, or, or serve, you served us without a real fucking on-duty officer. Then you tried to make us, you tried to coerce us into signing a, another lease that'd break our lease to get us out of this shit. Like we ain't got legal help. My brother, my my, my boy Keith said, man, get out of here. I, t- I knew they were going to come because I was doing too well. And I tried to just look like it's too much going on. But see, they fucked up too because a week before that happened, they tried to sell us the other part of the building with nobody would rent. Say that we could expand the shit so we could actually have a real sit-down restaurant in the back and a lounge in the front. Oh. Everything we doing is righteous. Yeah. Because we moving in the right magnitude of shit. We prayed about it. We stepping diligently in yeah. everything we said we want to do. And we giving the city everything we supposed to. This shit is crazy. Yeah. We take some time, bro. Real life. This shit 21. When it been three years, going on three years. We finally just getting a to the point where we get to have a, a actual meeting with the courts 
about what happened. Like, yeah. of course, they trying to dismiss it, but you know, I can't even go no further into that aspect. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Timing yeah. is everything. It's everything. God got in store. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, uh, we still going. So now, I'm back. That shit forced me to move again. Yeah. So now I'm back in Atlanta, back back bartending. I end up moving to L.A. And uh, my, the guy who I was working with out there, he ended up opening up a spot. And I'm like, man, at the time, my, my dudes were living out there. I'm like, shit, that's an easy transition for me, you yeah. know? I, I can be there tomorrow. Like, fuck Jackson. I don't give a fuck about this shit no more. No way. Like, these <laughs> yeah. hoes ain't trying to, really ain't fucking with me. Everything I do, like, and I'm trying to be yeah. righteous, yeah. they fucking old me. I, don't, I ain't got to fight in me no more. Like, I wish my people the best, but I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I really just howl ass. I don't tell a lot of people I just howl ass. People thought I had a bad thing. I wasn't fucking with that. I was mad. Nah, I just was protecting my peace. You feel me? Yeah. So now, I done went back to the A. I done went to LA, uh, went back to LA. I had a ball, but I got three kids. You know what I'm saying? My little boy got to come out there for summer with me here in LA. He having a ball, but now my little girl like, Dad, I don't, that ain't fair. You know what I'm <laughs> like, like, she fetch you right. You know, yeah. I'm on the way home. I come back home. Uh, uh, tip. Bro, give me a chance. Give me an opportunity. I'm at, I'm fucking with faces. We just going there crazy. They even talked to me a bit bad when I got in there because my ambition is faster than a lot of people's words. You feel me? Like, I'm always thinking about some shit. But I'm yeah. thinking about some shit that ain't going to interrupt my other people's other shit. People shit. So yeah, we yeah. can all thrive together. So, you know, I'm out there in L.A., I, I get the chance to catch a real out hour. I mean, Atlanta, I get a chance to catch a real out hour. Like, these folks really popping that shit. They getting real meals. And, and popping that shit. At 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. In the morning you feel yeah. me? So I take a chance and I say, you know what, I'm going to fuck around. I'm going to go holler at this country. I'm going to go holler at this old, old head ass nigga. He, everybody got so much bad to say about him, but I ain't never had the opportunity to run into him in nothing negative. Yeah. So I go holler at Harvard. You know what I'm saying? I go to him and say, man, this is what I'm thinking, man. You know, like, you know my background. You know where I come from. Like, I stand on business. I'm a proper guy. I don't think you ever heard nothing bad about me when it comes to business. I don't know yeah. what else you heard, but you know, like, I, I like, I like, the women that come out and part, I know I like the guys that come out. I don't give a fuck if they ratchet out. My guys, they got some money. They're going to come out here and fuck this shit up. Yeah. This is what I want. I want I want to open up an alcohol the spot there. Yeah. You already had the little spot. Y'all used to do it anyway. But I want to do it, and I want to, you know, I'm going to go crazy. This is what I do. He think about it. He was like, well, who you going to do with? I said, shit, I, I guess, I, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm call Ricky, you know? Ricky can do the hoops and shit. He can help me out. We're going we gonna to make this make sense. Ricky getting involved. He like, yeah, I'm fucking with it, bro. But I don't know, man. You know Harvard like this? I'm like, man, I don't know that part of it. So far, the nigga talking right. <laughs> so now the yeah. nigga Ralph get into it. Ralph like, well, shit, I can facilitate for us. I said, Ralph, you make this shit make sense. I'll give you 10% of whatever I can make. He like, just give me some time. So now we going crazy with the shit. And he agreed to it. We go get the contract signed up. Because now I ain't moving without nothing but proper shit. Because I don't even want to risk it. We go get the contract and shit signed up. Give it to bro. He said, all right, go. Give, give him the contract. We start going. Now me and bro in there renovating my family. We in there renovating going crazy. I done reached out to a few of the people like, this was going on. I want you to be a part of it. Let's go crazy. <laughs> You feel me? I'm like, all right, cool. Energy right. We changing shit right. Like, the liquor, everything right. Lily fucking with me. Everything right. You feel me? We go fucking ape shit down here. Nobody saw it coming. Nobody thought Nobody it was going to happen. coming at the this kitchen, shit boy. This shit went crazy. Bananas. From 8 p.m. to 4 in the fucking morning. Like, this Tuesday shit crazy. Tuesday Sunday. You feel me? Like, this shit going crazy. I can't make this up. I can't make this shit up. Like, nah, I got my really, kids in the kitchen yeah. with me. Like, they, my kid, like, real life. That was a bliss. I was living downtown at the time. I had to bring my kids in to start the night off, get the shit started, go home, get them shit away, take them back to their mama, take them back to home, and go crazy. The shit yeah. going fucking bananas. Everything going good in real life. I get a motherfucker. Uh, so the understanding nobody knew, me, Ricky, and Harvey were business partners. It was a three-way split. Yeah. So that's exactly what it was. Harvey wanted to try to give us to, to uh, he didn't want to let us rent it because he, he, he started throwing out just fucking stupid-ass numbers. Ten thousand dollar type shit. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Not for that little spot. For that little motherfuckers. I said, bro, listen, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I tell, I don't give a fuck what you charge, bro. Listen, just yeah. let, let me make your business partner. You can get to see all the numbers at the end of the day. Every month we break it down. Boom, this go crazy. He agreed to all this shit. Give him the paperwork. The motherfucker never signed the paperwork though. Never signed it. So he come back to Ralph saying, Ralph, like, man, listen, just make sure you move right. Keep the motherfucker happy. He ain't gonna kick out. Just keep him happy. He just he don't want he don't want to get that more power. He still feel like this is his spot. I said, Ray Rice, as long as bro, don't trip, bro. I ain't got nothing to say bad about him because right now money good, the business going good, my family yeah. eating. I'm back home. I done transitioned two, three different states. I done lost my first restaurant with my with my people. Yeah. Now I'm back trying to just do some shit because the, the city needs some more vibe. Yeah, yeah. We nine months in this motherfucker, maybe shorter. This motherfucker go crazy. We've never had no instance where no shooting, no bullshit, no nothing going on. But the nigga don't. He complained every week because there oh, was too many people in there. Uh, the people that's coming in, I thought y'all were going to bring, like, the, the women back. Niggas, women here. I thought y'all were going to have the professionals. 
It's freelance, motherfucker. Like, ain't no girl. I don't care what you call this what place. What you call this place. Uh, uh, what you say what, about yeah, me. Yeah, this it's motherfucker is freelance. Yo. <laughs> a lot of people ain't coming down here, but the people who are, I'm grateful for them. So let's just go keep going crazy. The man started uh, hindering us. He started putting the stomach blocks in the shit. Like, he steady picking, steady picking. Ricky going off. I'm like, bro, just stop talking to him. I talk to him. I have him to beat him. I'm going to live on level head and you like, it's cool. I got everything. Don't worry about it. Yeah. No bullshit. So by this time, now we like, fuck it. We need more room. Since we don't want, you don't want to stock in. We build a patio. Man, say, okay, the patio. Build a, oh, that's too high. I don't like that. Now, they look Ain't like, no way, now, now look like you're the club and I'm not the club. You you came down here to help uh, to help Freelon. Now you're hurting it. I can't tell these people which way to go. But when they walk in the kitchen, it's a vibe. Yeah. Like, that's what it is. I don't know nothing about your spot. I Back in the day, I worked over there for one day. I went over there and didn't like it. I couldn't do it. Like, no, that don't make sense to me. I like y'all too much to just keep over there, even playing with y'all. Nah, I can't do it. Yeah. So now this shit is just a vibe. Like, hey, man, let us keep let us keep creating. Let me cook, bro. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. The food going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Everything going crazy. So now the man is, goddamn it, then called it, tried to call it like a truth. So this is the the, the downfall of, of the kitchen. All this shit going crazy. You might heard like, A1 did this, A1 gambling, A1 doing all this shit. A1 didn't do a motherfucking thing with nobody money but mine. And I don't give a fuck what nobody ever got to say about it, how they do it, motherfucker. I mm-hmm. walked in there. If I ever gamble with any of y'all, I walked in there, motherfucker, $100, $200, $300, bro. I got up with y'all money and let y'all get a chance to get it back because I'm a good gambler. Yeah. I ain't got to say nobody's name or put nobody on no bullshit, bro, because I'm too good of a nigga. Yeah. Stop playing with me. And if I had a tab, I paid it. But it wasn't no motherfucking whatever the fuck these folks were talking about. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm just really just trying to keep good shit around me. Yeah. So the downfall of the kitchen. The man called us over there, and now he got... uh. My guys over there, they finna try to revamp to 440. The man give me the word, if I help him manage 440, we can keep the kitchen open. I swear to God, I can't make this up. I feel like I sold my soul to the to the goddamn devil. Because I don't want no parts of this shit. Not because of him, but just I don't want to do, I don't want to pop nobody else shit, shit off. off yeah. I want to continue to try to do what do, I'm trying to yeah. do and go crazy. I ain't got nothing mad to say about him, nothing bad to say about him. I don't want no parts of it, though. I just really want to keep doing what we're doing because this eye shit. Yeah. Let us keep going crazy, bro. Like, you you making money. That's the, that's the goal. That's the goal. That's the only fucking goal. So I say, fuck it, bro. In the day, I still got kids. If you let me keep the kitchen open, i come over there. i do whatever y'all got them and want going on, and I can juggle both. You feel yeah. me? Like, fuck it. Let's do it. Well, the first goddamn day we go over there, the motherfucker closed the kitchen. So wow. we're going we gonna to revamp it. This is a term like, we're going to revamp it. So this time is just so happy that it's uh, Wingfield Homecoming weekend. Week. We supposed to have a Wednesday R&B night for Wingfield. My alum, you know, that's why yeah. I went. Yo, no. I'm fucking with my people. Like, yeah, we can go crazy. Man, lock the door. Say, man, we can't do that. Like, not right now, you operating under my liquor license. I don't want you to do it. We're going we gonna to revamp it. I ain't really got no dog in this fight, but the contract that I didn't sign that he sent me because I didn't want to sign it, but the stipulation of it was enough to make sure my family was straight and I can keep paying my bills on my yeah. tabs, you feel me? So I'm I'm saying yes to keep paying this shit out. Yeah. Worst decision I could have made. I should have just walked at that motherfucker and said, you know what, you want to close, close. And sold that we could have sold and just yeah. try it again in some other way. Because now my name is attached to this shit, and people to this day still think I'm part of 440, and I'm not. But I was willing to be to keep the energy that we had yeah, in the kitchen. at the kitchen. So we had this first party, uh, Wingfield, Wing, Wingfield night. Now, I don't know what they doing now. I, I don't go back down there. Uh, I still fuck with some of the guys who work in there yeah. because of the camaraderie and just the, the love yeah, is cool. Yeah, the love, yeah. But I don't fuck around at this spot because way too often I was being asked to keep stating or showing my my – my worth of what I brought to the table. And, motherfucker, you see that in every instance. And I'm yeah. a part of anything you got going on. The first Wingfield party, we go crazy. My girl, uh, uh, two of them down there, they, they had a part of the, uh, I didn't even know they had a part of the party until after I, I was uh, to the end of the night. So, but that was the only thing. I'm, I'm not even mention that to say nothing, but it was a Wingfield thing. The Wingfield love was cool. Yeah. And it was just a dope situation. Cause now Wingfield fucking Wingfield. So yeah. now you got two of them, we fucking with two of them. You got oh, A1 of them down there, so we fucking yeah, with yeah, one yeah, yeah. So the shit cool. In the night, the numbers went right on my side. Yeah. I can't tell you what happened because I'm, I'm, I'm a better man. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going yeah. to put my dirt line yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, me, yeah. me and Big Guy had some real harsh words. To the point where like, hey, man, I don't play like that. This is when the South Jackson side, I guess what people think, like niggas are irrational. They just yeah. high-headed. This is when I tried to be the best version of me I can. Yeah. But, bro, I don't get down like that. If I show up to work and I, I got to sit no more, pay me, motherfucker, or you, just, or oh, you yeah, get the rest yeah. of it. This is you get the other part of it. So now I'm just really still thinking about just being the, the nigga that I said I was going to be to be the biggest man I'm trying to be. So yeah. I just had to 
I had to walk away from a lot of shit. Yep. From, so man. shit. At this point in time, I had to get a regular job. So now, because I still got, I still got obligations. Yeah, still so got yeah, family. I'm still cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm still cool. I'm, I'm hosting little events. I'm working at a job that I really don't want to work at, but I'm, I got shit to do. You got so shit to do. Yeah. I'm, I'm cordial. And I'm fun. And I'm cool with everything I got going on in the day. Yeah. And that's what it was. And that was the downfall of Sweet One Hundred. And the downfall of the uh, kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> but the ke- continuation of Good for Lay One. Like, yeah. nothing stops. No. I can't. Like, so people are like, well, that boy, he, he gonna find something to do. He gonna I ain't hit. got no fucking choice. He ain't got no choice. Should if you hit. knew what the fuck I had to pay for, you would probably <laughs> jump. You people would jump, bro. Yeah. I, I wake up and hold this shit together every day. <laughs> yeah. For real. This shit be like that. I swear to God, it be boy, like listen, that, bro. I ain't no emotional nigga in public. <laughs> But I let them motherfucker go before. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you, you can't believe me. I swear to God, bro. If you knew the the details of what a nigga have to grasp and hold on to just to make sure yeah. don't nobody put you on another blender. Yeah. Boy, these folk went goddamn. And you can say, hey, why, why you feel like that? How you know it? Because it ain't happening. Yeah. Now, shout out to the people that's making it happen. I'm going to support you and I'm going to rock with you, but the, the naysayers and the, just the non-believers and the doubters and the, them niggas who just got want to be heard because they cause they got a fucking mouth, yeah, yeah, yeah. shut the fuck up, put some work in. Yeah. But then come holler at me about a restaurant, bro. Yeah. Holler me about a goddamn bar. Oh, shit, go make one and hire me. Yeah. And let me pop your shit off since shit, you believe in me that much. You think, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. let's, let's go crazy together. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Like, yeah. Let's go crazy together. But in the meantime, between time, bro, let me goddamn it. Figure Do my you, shit out. Yeah, you figure your shit yeah, out. Yeah, let me figure this shit out. Because that's the only thing I'm doing. Yeah. And I'm doing it the best way I can, feel me? And that's Already. why a nigga out here singing songs. Already. Because it's therapeutic. It's therapeutic. And I ain't got to talk to them. Yep. But they can hear everything. You can hear everything, everything you want. Ain't no song. Come in a song. <laughs> yep. For real. Meet me at the trail ride. Pick a side. My <laughs> friend, that's the perfect. Meet me at the Pick trail ride. Side. Pick a side, goddamn. Yeah, stay there. <laughs> God damn it. Hell yeah. Stay there. That's what I want the motherfucker to do. Already. So, but check it out before you go, man. What, what's next for A1? You done so, did all this shit. What's next? I know you got your music coming and all that. Like, what's your next? Well, base. Don't tell me your next move, but never let them know. Your yeah, never let so them know listen, your next move. That's but the, that's the easy part. Cause let me tell. You, let me tell you a secret. I don't know. Uh oh. Cause there's so much shit in front of me that anything could be an uh, opportunity. But the only thing I'm really focused on right now is just putting out good energy with these yeah. kids, making sure my family good. And, and loving on who love me. You feel yeah. me? Like, that's the only goal I got right now in general. Yeah. You feel me? Like, and if you see me out drinking and start thinking that I need your help, unless you about to pull up, child, keep it to yourself. <laughs> you feel me? I like that. I like that for that's real. That's another song. So I like that would shit. Would you say what yeah. next? Yeah. It's another song. <laughs> <laughs> another I like that shit. song. I like this shit, man. Like, for real. We going to keep living, and I'm going to keep singing about it, or I'm going to try to. Yeah. And the day I can't, hopefully somebody say something good about me enough where my kids know that your daddy tried, my brother and my sister and my family know that the nigga loved life and he loved everybody in, in, around yeah. him. And even the people I don't know, I still try to get that yeah, love out. Yeah, get that love out. And yeah. shit, you really like, really just if you want to paint a picture of A1, put a big red nigga with some tattoos, a little gold teeth and a big head and just put a, 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 just a big old heart around him. And... Send it around and say that's what that nigga is. <laughs> that nigga is. He's the embodiment of love, funniness, happiness. Yeah. And hopefully we get some longevity in this shit, man. Cause truly I don't know what's next, but I ain't gonna stop it. I can't I can't stop walking. Already. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Already. I'm gonna beat the streets. Hey man, appreciate you coming out here oh, popping shit I with truly me. Had a great time, oh God, man, I had a good I time. Had a good Where good time. you talk some shit, especially about the big nigga shit. I like that Come shit. Come on, baby, to Where they gonna make me fuck around and start yeah. eating get a little better? Yeah. Whoa, oh God. <laughs> well, check this out, man. Well, before you get, let everybody know your Instagram, Facebook, all that shit. So y'all make sure y'all go follow this guy, man, cause he finna blow. I'm finna fuck he up. Finna, he finna, finna fuck up. the game up, y'all. So they can catch me, uh, Goodfella underscore A1 Instagram. Uh, I got a TikTok now, cause I got to, cause I'm, I'm fucking with the music. I don't really know how to work it, but I got one. Yeah. Uh, YouTube Goodfella Spacebar, not underscore Goodfella Spacebar A1. Uh, Oh, she just, I'm, I'm going to be out tonight. Someone just stop me in the street and ask me something, man. I, I sing at the gas station. I'll pop up on a bitch at the gas station. She got a phone in her hand. I'm like, hey, you want to 
looked this up real quick. They're like, what, what? Only because I'm attractive and I'm fat. Yeah, <laughs> they, they allow me to. Yeah. So when I start seeing they're like, oh, yeah, that's, that's all right. I'm full that. Yep. I'm, I'm, shit, I'm at your local goddamn uh, gas station. Bar, restaurant, and gas, <laughs> gas station, station. Every, every week. Long as I ain't, even sometimes with the kids, you know, just really just tap in with me, man. But Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube, good for A1, man. And uh, I guess just really truly stay tuned because. Stay tuned. Show got to Y'all already know how to get down. Y'all stay tuned, man. Come we'll be on, back man. next yes, Friday, sir. man. Yes, Appreciate sir. you, bro, for popping no shit doubt, with man. me, bro. Thank you for having me, man. All right. For real. Yes, sir.